ಓಂ ಸದಾಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭಾ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣಾಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಪಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋಮೃತ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನವದೀತಮಸ್ತುಮಾವಿಷಾವಹಿ ಈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವ ಸಂಪ್ರೋಕ್ತ ಜೀವಾಖ್ಯಾತಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಕೃಸಬಂತಾಧಿರ್ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತ್ಮನೆ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಾದಂಡಮವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಭವ ಮಂಡಸ್ಯಾಂತಸ್ತಿ ಮೇ ಲೋಕಾ ಸಪ್ತೀಪಾಚ ಮೇ ದಿ So last time we looked at uh, Shloka 56 in the second chapter which said Dukkesha Nudvignamanaha Sukeshu Vigatasprahaha Vitaraga Bhayakrodha Sthitadhir Muniruchyate Arjuna's question was what is the lakshana of Sthitaprajna and Sthitaprajna, Sthitadhir there are various words used for the same meaning and since the question was about Sthitadhi therefore we made the Anvaya as Sthitadhi being Vidheya dukkheshu anudvignamanaha dukkheshu when there is dukkha that time anudvignamanaha he person's mind does not move therefore he is anudvignamanaha and sukeshu vigata spruha when there is sukha there is craving for more so when there is dukkha there is one gets upset and a person whose mind is not upset it is not a person's quality really person is actually atma it is not atma's dharma to when there is dukkha sorrow that accrues dukkha is in the situation of dukkha that time the mind undergoes some vritti dukkha vritti but it is not the quality dharma or guna of the atma but due to association with manaha with ahankara ahankriti that i am this mind that time a person loses uh, the idea that i have a mind i am not the mind and thereby gets carried over but a person who can differentiate atmanatma viveka one who can do that person when jnana is thira that time he cannot be confused he cannot be deluded under the influence of even the uh, the most intense dukkha in the manaha so that time he is not sorrowful therefore anudvigna manaha but when sukha comes what happens generally there is craving for more i want more sukha let it last longer let let me try to get this sukha through the same vishaya which i enjoyed earlier let me try to get that but for a person of uh, asthita dhi person who has dhi which is sthita buddhi vi sthira he does not lose the viveka that this sukha is not uh, my uh, this vishaya sukha is not my swarupa i am different from that it is reflecting in that vishaya which is my own ananda but it is not this vishaya sukha is not my nature therefore he is vigata spruha his craving has gone away from that kind of sukha vishaya sukha therefore he is vigata spruha and then we therefore what this this situation is in circumstances when the mind has attained or lost something some vishaya that time there is uh, respectively sukha and dukha but what is that due to indulgence is vishaya is also due to raga and uh, raga krodha uh, raga dvesha krodha ityadi here it is said this person does not even have the why is he vigata spruha why is he anudvigna mana because there is no uh, reasoning for him to hanker from hanker for vishayas or run away from vishayas because he is vita raga bhaya krodha he is raga dvesha and raga is upalakshana raga bhaya krodha all these are upalakshana for raga dvesha ityadi all that is gone away vita vita means vigata it is gone away raga bhaya krodha all these are gone away so karana nivrutti karya nivrutti when karana has gone away then karya nivrutti will automatically happen without the uh, uh, without the inputs there cannot be an output therefore this dukkha and sukha cannot be because he has become anudvigna manaha and he has become vigata spruha and why has he become so because he is vita raga bhaya krodha he has no reasons for those vishayas to be interacted with 
and that kind of a munihi munihi is who manana shilha munihi that is the uh, explanation given in vedanta it is not a vyutpatti artha but it's a rudhya artha what is who is a munihi a sage we generally translate as sage that kind of a sage he becomes a sage because he is vita raga bhaya krodha this is the hetu for which applies for karya not being there and the for his becoming a sage munihi and munihi is manana shila he is habituated to doing manana all the time and that person is a sthitadhihi so sthitadhiyasya so sthitadhihi that person is that person is called as sthitadhi that muni sage becomes sthitadhi not all sages are sthitadhi manana shila muni but the manana shila muni who has become all of these and therefore he is he is not muni as in the general sense of the word as word a sage sage in the real sense of the word manana shila and then sthitadhihi uchyate meaning sthita prajna uchyate sthita prajna kincha moreover in continuation of the topic of sthitadhi or sthita prajna yas sarvatranu bis uh, yas sarvatranu visneha tat tat prapya shubha shubham na abhinandati nadveshti tasya prajna pratishthita so sthitadhi sthita prajna and without a samasa what will it be तस्य प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता यस्य प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता भवति सह एव स्थितधी वा स्थित प्रज्ञा वा उच्यते दैट इज दी आंसर गिवन देयर तस्य प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता मींस दैट पर्सन इज स्थितधी ही और स्थित प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता इज अनदर वे टू से दैट स्थिता प्रतिष्ठिता मींस स्थिता इट रिमेंस देयर इट इज फर्म देयर सो यह सर्वत्र अनविस्नेह यह सर्वत्र एवरीवेयर इज व्हाट अनविस्नेह अनविस्नेह मींस व्हाट नंज तत्पुरुष न अविस्नेह एंड न अविस्नेह मींस व्हाट अविस्नेह इज अटैचमेंट बट नंज नॉट नंज तत्पुरुष नंज तत्पुरुष इफ इट इज देन इट इज नॉट अ पर्सन हियर यू सी स्नेह इज अ पुल्लिंग बट हियर इट कैन बी ग्रामेटिकली इट कैन बी अ Uh, 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 nanj tat purusha also but it is nanj bahuri because it is talking about not about avisneha and it is not uh, uttara pada pradana it is talking about a person who is avis who does not have avisneha who does not have sneha or avisneha means who does not have attachment that person is called as anavisneha therefore grammatically although both are possible in the context it is bahuri hi sneha uh, this is bahuri so bahuri vigra would be what uh, avisneha uh, nanj will be translated as avidyamanah avidyamanah avisneha yasya yasya sah tat tat prapya shubha shubham so tat tat prapya so tat tat can be a samasa also or it can be tat tat prapya having attained having attained what each of those so when uh, tat tat is used twice there is a uh, there is a repetition then it means each of these in each situation so it shows continuity uh, in uh, quite a few uh, vernacular uh, i mean their languages they, uh, this is used so pade pade in kannada you say pade pade so or in sanskrit also it is there pade pade so tat tat so at each each time whatever is attained tat tat and here tat tat is what shubham and ashubham so tat tat can be a samasa also i think so tat tat shubha shubham so let's keep it tat tat here uh, for want of better explanation it will go well with shubha shubham so tat tat shubha shubham prapya so tat tat shubha shubham prapya न अभिनंदति यह न अभिनंदति न द्वेष्टि तस्य प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता सो व्हेन यह सर्वत्र अनविस्नेह सर्वत्र एवरीवेयर एवरीवेयर इन ईच एंड एवरी सिचुएशन आल्सो सर्वत्र ऑल दो इट मींस देशा बट इट कैन टेकन टू मीन देशा काला बोथ कैन बी इंक्लूडेड बाय एक्सटेंशन अब अनविस्नेह in each and every situation by situation we can bring kala so in uh, sarvatra we can say in a, not desha but in each and every situation 
सो इन ईच सिचुएशन ऑल सिचुएशन यह इन ऑल सिचुएशन यह अनभिस्नेह ही इज विदाउट अटैचमेंट एंड शुभाशुभम प्राप्य तत्शुभम व तशुभम व प्राप्य न अभिनंदती ही डज नॉट तत् शुभम प्राप्य न अभिनंदती एंड तत् अशुभम प्राप्य न द्वेष्टि सो इफ यू हैव टू पुट दी सेपरेट देन यू कैन सेपरेट आउट दी शुभाशुभम ऑल्सो इन समासा एंड से वॉट दिस तत् तत् शुभम प्राप्य न अभिनंदती वंस ही गेट शुभ समथिंग विच इज ऑस्पिशियस फॉर हिम एंड ऑस्पिशियस इज वॉट आनंद फाइनली the ultimate auspicious is ananda shivam that's why is a shivam shivam shantam advaitam that's what will be finally shubha the ultimate shubha so tat shubham prapya na abhinandati but vishaya uh, shubha is what due to vishaya circumstantial then there is elation so one gets elated with in such situation so shubham prapya abhinandati yah tu na abhinandati sah तस्य प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता होती एंड ऑपोजिट ऑल्सो अशुभम प्राप्य तद अशुभम प्राप्य यह न द्वेष्टी वन हू डज नॉट हेट एनी वन डज नॉट हैव द्वेश डज नॉट डू द्वेश तस्य प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता होती न द्वेष्टी तस्य प्रज्ञा फेमिनिन प्रतिष्ठिता होती सो अन्वय विल बी यह सर्वत्र यह सो सर्वत्र वी कैन से सर्वत्र यह सर्वत्र यह अनभिस्नेह तत्त शुभा शुभम प्राप्य न अभिनंदती न द्वेष्टि तस्य प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठ प्रतिष्ठिता भवती किंच मोर ओवर अगेन इन कंटिन्युएशन यदा संहरते चाय कूर्वोंगानी सर्वश इंद्रिया इंद्रियाथेभ्य प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता सो यदा संहरते च अयम अयम साधक मुनि व संहरते संहरते मीन्स विड्रॉस हि विड्रॉस सम्यक हरते ही कैरीज हरते हरते मीन्स वाइज हरी ही कॉल्ड एज हरी बिकॉज हरति पापानी इति हरी सो वन हु टेक्स अवे पापा ही कैरीज अवे ही स्टील्स अवे पापा ही कैरीज अवे मीन्स वॉट ही ही टेक्स अवे युअर पापा दैट पर्सन इज कॉल्ड एज हरी पर्सन एज इन दैट पुरुष दैट दी दैट ईश्वरा इज कॉल्ड एज हरी ही हियर दैट संहरते सम्यक हरते वन हु सम्यक हरते मीन्स वॉट डज नॉट अलाउ इट टू बी एंगेज बैक अगेन सो दैट इज पुलिंग अवे और विड्रॉइंग देर फोर सम्यक हरते यह कूर्म अंगान इव सर्वश संहरते लाइक कूर्म कूर्म इज अ टर्टल सो टर्टल एल्सवेर इवन टॉर्ट इज बट टर्टल इज अर सम टेक्निकल डिफरेंस देर सो पीपल हू नो जूवॉलॉजी बेटर दे मे हैव बेटर आइडिया सो यू ट्रांसलेट हाउ यूर यू वॉन्ट कूर्म कूर्म इज अ टर्टल और टॉर्टॉइस अंगान इफ यू सीन इट हैज गॉट अ बॉडी ऑफ लाइक अ स्टोन एंड यू सी इट्स माउथ इज आउट साइड द फेस इज आउट साइड एंड सम लिम्स आर आउट साइड बट वेन यू मेक सम नॉइज और यू इट शेल इज वेरी हार्ड लाइक अ स्टोन एंड देन इफ यू मेक सम नॉइज इफ यू इफ इट सेंस इज फियर देन इट स्टार्ट विड्रॉइंग ऑल इट्स लिम्स इंक्लूडिंग इट्स फेस its entire head goes face as in entire head is withdrawn and you see it like a shell that's it a shell as in just like a uh, like a stone you see it sitting like a stone not moving at all and like its angan the way it withdraws its limbs including the head 
सिमिलरली इव लाइक दैट यह अयम अयम यह इज द पर्सन हू मेन्शन हियर द सेम पर्सन हु इज बींग डिस्क्राइड स्थित प्रज्ञ यदा सह यदा अयम अयम पुरुष कूर्म अंगा सर्वशा संहरते वॉट डज ही डू इन दि एक्सापल इन दि दृष्टा कूर्म यथा इव मीन्स यथा यथा कूर्म अंगा सर्वश संहरते तथा बिकॉज इव इज देर यू कैन रिप्लेस इव फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग विथ यथा यथा तथा सो इव मीन्स यथा तथा यथा यथा कूर्म अंगा सर्वश संहरते तथा अयम पुरुष यदा इंद्रियाभ्य इंद्रिया संहरते वेन ही ऑलसो विड्रॉज हिज लिम्स फ्रॉम वॉट फ्रॉम ऑल दि विषय द कूर्म डज इट बिकॉज इट सेंस इज फियर बट दिस पर्सन ऑलसो शुड सेंस फियर द्वितिया वही भय बी सो देर शुड ऑलवेज बी फियर एज लॉन्ग एज देर इज विषय विच इज सीन एज द्वितीय सेपरेट फ्रॉम वन सेल्फ दट मिथ्यात्व निश्चय विल टेल यू दैट दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू लास्ट it has a dependency on me i give it reality and thereby when indriyarthebhya indriyarthe means indriya vishebhya artha means padartha and padartha of what padartha is vishaya that vishaya for indriyas in each indriya has a focus on one vishaya shabda sparsha rasa gandha ityadi so this uh, indriyartha is vishaya and vishebhya indriyarthebhya indriyani ayam यदा संहरते किंवत कूर्म अंगा सर्वशा फ्रॉम ऑल डायरेक्शन सर्वशा इन ऑल वेज इन ऑल सर्वशा इज इन ऑल वेज विथ कंट्रोल ही हैज से ओवर हिज इंद्रिया देन वॉट हैपन्स तस् प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता होती नॉट ओनली हरते बट सम्य हरते देर फोर संहरते तदा सो यदा इज गिवन तदा तस् यू कैन सप्लाय तदा सिंस यदा इज देर तदा तस् प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता होती सो यदा संहरते च अयम संहरते वाई यह एज कम यदा ओके आई कॉपी पेस्टेड रॉन्ग थिंग आई डिंट वॉन्ट टू स्विच टू इंग्लिश एंड कॉपी पेस्ट सिंस मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर प्रथम एक वचन आल जस्ट कॉपी दैट यदा च अयम पुरुष कूर्म अंगा इव इव कूर्म अंगा इव सर्वश इज इज एन अव्यय एडवर्बियल सर्वश संहरते इंद्रिया एंड इंद्रिया विल बी इन सेकेंड केस बिकॉज इट इज सो इंद्रिया अयम अयम इंद्रिया संहरते देर फोर अयम इज इन संहरते कर्तरी प्रयोग अयम एंड कर्मा विल गो इन सेकेंड केस इंद्रिया इंद्रियाभ्य पंचमी बहुवचन तस् प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता होती यदा एंड तदा यू कैन सप्लाय संहरते इज दि वर्ब देन वॉट डू यू डू कर्ता हू इज दि कर्ता यदा अयम अयम यदा च च इस हेज टू गो इट सेकेंड जनरली सो यदा च अयम संहरते हाउ लाइक सो तदा तदा कैन गो लेटर बिकॉज संहरते तदा तदा वॉट बेसिक्स एंड तदा प्रज्ञा तस् प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता होती बिकॉज दैट इज दि एंड रिजल्ट स्थित प्रज्ञा होती देन यदा च अयम अयम वॉट संहरते इंद्रिया 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 संहरते फ्रॉम वॉट इंद्रिया इंद्रिभ्य इंद्रिभ्य इंद्रिया संहरते अयम इंद्रिभ्य 
संहरते हाउ देशोर कूर्म अंगानी हो अयम इंद्रिय भी इंद्रियानी कूर्म कूर्म हा अंगान अंगान इव सो बाय दिस व्हाट इज हैपेंड दिस अयम दिस इज दी इंद्रियानी दिस इज दी दृष्टांता this and this is darshtantika the earlier one is darshtantika ayam indriyebhya indriyani samharate iva kurmaha angani iva samharate tadatasya prajna pratishtita bhavati so i'll just put this in kurmaha angani iva iva can remain outside iva samharate i'm just putting it for clarity kurmaha angani iva Indriyani Indriyebhyaha Samharate Tada Tasya Prajna Pratishtita Bhavati This is the Anvaya Tatra Vishyan Anaharataha Person who is not partaking of Vishyas Who is this? This person This Munihi Who is Tita Prajna He is not engaging Anaharata means not partaking Ahara Aharam one who does not take a yeah, sarvasha, yeah, sarvasha is left, yeah, thanks. So sarvasha samharate, yada samharate indriyani, sorry, okay, not here. Yada chayam indriyabhiha indriyani kurmangani va sarvasha, that's right, sarvasha is adverbial to samharate. Tada tasya prajna pratishtita bhavati. So tatra vishyan anaharataha, anaharan, this is shatranta pada shashti ekvachana. One who is not doing ahara. One who is not doing ahara means what? One who is not doing bhoga. Ahara uh, means bhoga. Bhoga of what? Vishaya. Therefore, vishyan anaharan yaha vartate. So, one who remains without taking, partaking food. Here in the exemplified, the ahara is the example of one who does not take food. In the drishtanta. In the Darshtantika, what is it? A person who is not doing bhoga of indriya, uh, of uh, vishyas, sorry, of vishyas. He controls his indriyas. By indriyas, you are not really rejoicing the indriyas. You are rejoicing the vishyas. So, a person who is controlling them. In the example, what is given? A person who does not take food at all. Who becomes sick because his sense organs will weaken thereby. If you do not take ahara, your mind will become inactive, your indriyas will be become inactive. Mostly a person who becomes weak in such a manner goes to sleep. And this happens over a period of time while a person is aging also it happens. All the indriyas stop functioning. In Chandogya Upanishad, the krama is given. What happens? Uh, how this withdrawal of indriyas takes place in Sh uh, Shastodhya in 6th chapter. A person who is dying what happens when a person keeps on aging then first he lose his uh, uh, sense of hearing hearing goes away then something else then something else so on the mind stops functioning the buddhi stops functioning and there the example is given of uh, the, uh, the relatives come and inquire janasi janasi mama janasi so do you know me maam janasi maam janasi they keep on asking and then he is then they say you know if you listen to relatives you uh, great grand or whoever grandfather or whoever they say that oh does he recognize does he recognize other people no he recognize his children only then he stops recognizing his children also slowly it goes away why because the sense organs have weakened prana has weakened similarly here vishyan anaharataha aturasya api aturasya means one who is sick now since he has stopped eating even the old person, you know, they say that as long as he is taking food is okay because some energy will come from the food. All these koshas will start getting replenished as much as the body can process the food. They, it can digest. But vishyan anaharata, for whatever reasons, whether one stops eating, does upwasa says, no, I will control my sense organs by controlling food. I will not take all sorts of food. Okay, I will do upwasa. Okay, I will do upwasa for... Uh, entire um, uh, Navaratri Aldupuasa, very good. 
one month long one does but then what happens vishyan anaharata for that kind of a person who has just controlled ahara for that person also he becomes weak aturah bhavati and then aturasya pitasya a person who is not partaking food and thereby he has become weak his indriyas have also become weak and then what happens indriyani kurmangan iva samhriyante so indriyas themselves samhriyante they so karmani prayoga kurma kurmangan iva just like they themselves withdraw why will the indriyas withdraw they will withdraw from because vishayas they can drag you only when they are they have strength to be dragged if a person is sleepy then whatever that person likes cannot wake him up if a person is completely exhausted not possible therefore aturasya when a person is sickening is weakening due to not taking food then the indriyas do not have strength and then indriyani kurva angani va samhriyante kasmad or kebhya vishebhya from the vishayas indriyas themselves will withdraw is is this that way is this muni is that way is this sita pragna that way then i'll stop eating food the best thing is to stop eating food i don't have to do any sadhana now or my i'll become sita pragna is that the issue no is that the right thinking natu tad vishaya raga ha meaning what kurma angani ho vish angan iva indriyani vishebhya vinivartante samhriyante they will get they withdraw they will withdraw they will they they will themselves withdraw but uh, samhriyante natu tad vishayah ragah samhriyate raga does not go away so here uh, i said uh, uh, karmani prayoga I, uh, i wanted to say this uh, indriya indriyani which were karma in the earlier they so kartari prayoga only but indriyani uh, samhriyante means indriya themselves um uh, they they themselves withdraw for a person for this uh, sick person who has weakened due to not taking food what happens though that will not make sita prajna a person sita prajna because mind is inactive a person will go to sleep but for sadhana mind has to be very strong in the sense the buddhi has to be strong entire antakarana including the faculty of buddhi will Uh, will be weakened then and that is no good it is good sadhana to build up control over food or indulgence but not to make it indriyas weak through denial of food that will not work therefore what will happen natu tad vishaya ragah samhriyat samhriyate sa katam samhriyate sa ragah katam samhriyate there the raga does not go away the raga dvesha will remain person who likes sweet even if he denies sweet that uh, wanting to eat sweet that thinking may continue and then another janma and his, his sweet is an upalakshana here it can be uh, it can be some uh, uh, oily food or whatever or it can not be food it can be any bhoga it can be bhoga for swarga it can be bhoga for whatever for more and more children fame whatever it can be dhana ityadi but uh, it can be vidya also I, I want to get more and more PhDs. I want to study all shastras, all Vedas. Even for Vedas people, uh, there are rishis who have been born again and again for Vedas also. So ragaha towards anything is not good. That is Sarvam Varje. So ragaha sa katham samhriyate. How will that raga go? That is where you have to work on, not on just the karya, but karana also has to be. taken away from the equation sah ragha katam samhriyate iti uchyate that is being said in the next shloka vya vinivartante niraharasya dehinah rasavarjam rasopyasya parandrishtva nivartate so this is jumping the gun how will that raga go raga remains you do any sadhana raga remains that will go only by jnana unless the person knows that there is no vishaya separate from me the raga towards that vishaya will remain even if you deny yourself by denying yourself vishaya bhoga what you can do is get chitta shuddhi that chitta shuddhi uh, will not take away vasana vasana will remain rasa rasa is vasana will remain because that has been earned since many janmas 
when will that go uh, it will not go unless a person has jnana that those vishayas ha- do not have reality at all they are mithya they are maya krita they are avidya krita and i am finally uh, di- uh, initially i say that i am different from this anatma vishaya and then once that jnana comes in that uh, aham brahmasmi that time since ishwara all this has come from ishwara they are not different from me therefore these vishayas draw their reality only from me and they are not separate from me in that sense and that is also another uh, explanation of mithya and this mithya vastu when that jnana occurs that there is nothing separate from me i am am myself in the form of this entire world then param drushtva that param paramatmanam drushtva nivartate drushtva having seen means sakshatkara their sakshatkara has to happen as in abheda jnana that i am not different from this entire prapancha which is the sharira of ishwara and that ishwara i am so that is the only way this will go and thereby when nishtha is lacking therefore that nishtha is lacking why is it lacking because there is rasa rasa that ragha which is in the bija roopa which is also called as rasa that rasa which remains which is vasana or what is called as the impression which it has left an impression on me in several several anadi kalena since since beginningless time there is uh, there has been karma and those karmas have uh, left impressions on my antakarana which manifest in each janma based on this stool sharira that i take and that then based on prarabdha they start becoming my raga dvesha and those vasanas when will they go they will uh, form obstacles towards the ragas raga dveshas in the vasana roopa they are infinite they infinite cannot be taken away by finite karma it cannot be taken away by any finite activity how will it go then so infinite does not have to go what has to go is that what is manifest and what is obstructing my nishtha now only that has to go and that is there in the antakarana which will start coming out in nididhyasana and then it will stop nishtha it will take away once nishtha even if one has jnana finally that will also get burnt over a period of time and then when these obstacles go away because of drida chitta shuddhi uh, the sadhana becoming drida even after jnana utpatti then it becomes the jnana becomes sthira and then that sthita prajna will uh, uh, that will lead to sthita prajnata and then that is uh, param drushtva that is what param drushtva raso api nivartate asya so vishayaha vishayaha vinivartante they go away so, so each time i copy something okay so vinivartante here it is plural do so vinivartante niraharasya dehinah niraharasya means what the person who is who is not taking food nirahara one who is without ahara tasya देहिनः वन देहिन इज षष्टी एक वचन ऑफ देहि देह अस्ति अस्ति इति देहिन मतुपर्ते इनि तस्य देहिनः रसवर्जम रसः रसः अपि अस्य परम दृष्टा निवर्तते सो रसवर्जम रसः अपि अपि अस्य सो रसवर्जम इज एडवर्बियल यू कैन टेक अस adverbial param drushtva having seen so uh, twa twa anta having seen this twa it will take what uh, drushtva so karma for that is for drush dhatu there is param nivartate vinivartante means they themselves withdraw what withdraws all these vishaya vishayas go away Vish- so indriya here he says in- indriyani samhriyante so indriyas withdraw from vishayas or vishayas themselves go both ways you can see generally what happens is that vishayas attract the indriyas and then indriyas 
Indriyas uh, uh, drag the mind along and then mind one has an association with therefore uh, the person is dragged along. So Vishya Vinivartanta is Vishyas themselves withdraw from from the person for whom actually for Niraharasya Dehi. So Vishya Vinivartanta Kebhya Indriya Bhya Vinivartanta. Here you can take the reverse. Indriya and here he says Indriyas go away and the other way around the shloka says Vishyas go away from the Indriyas for whom Niraharasya Dehina. So Indriyas of or you can say the person who is Nirahar Nirahara a person who is without Ahara for that kind of a Dehi Dehasya Asti for the person who is embodied. So for an embodied you can say for an embodied for an embodied person embodied what happens Rasaha uh, niraha rasa, rasa, rasa varjam, rasa varjam uh, vinivartate. So they they go away, but how rasa varjam? They leave behind the rasa for the vishayas. So vishayaha, vishayaha vinivartanti, basic sentence, because karta is vishayaha. Vinivartante, vinivartante, kasya vishayaha. Niraharasya Dehinaha in Samadari Karanyam Rasavarjam Rasavarjam Vinivartante. Leaving behind the impressions, they go away. They leave behind the taste for themselves. Vishya. Vishya rasa. Vishya rasa varjam. Bereft of that. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, leaving, leaving. Rasa varjam. Let me just uh, cross check in uh, how Bhashyakara takes it. विद्यार्थी विशेष उपलक्षितानि विशेष शब्द वाच्यानि इंद्रिय भीरे रार्से न कष्टे तपस्तस्य मूर्खस्य आपि मूर्खस्य आपि सो इसे मूर्खस्य आपि नॉट ओनली फॉर अ पर्सन हु इज वीक सो मूर्खस्य आपि विनिवर्तन्ते देहि न देहवता रसवर्जम रसराग विशेषी यह तम वर्जयित्वा सो एक्सेप्ट फॉर सो वर्जयित्वा इसे वर्जम इसे वर्जयित्वा विशेषु यह रागह तम वर्जयित्वा विनिवर्तन्ते बट व्हाट एक्सेप्ट फॉर द रागह सो इट Meaning is same, what I said, but varjam. Rasa varjam means not, uh, so without rasa, they go away, vishaya. So I said leaving behind. So varjam, I said leaving behind. So varjayetva means they go away except for this rasa. Rasa does not go away. Rasa varjam vishayaha vinivartante. Leaving, so they don't take away rasa. Rasa does not go. So vishaya rasa remains. That is the meaning here. Rasa varjam vinivartante. And what vinivartan they withdraw, withdraw leaving behind rasa for vishayas. That's why rasa varjam vini is adverbial to vinivartan they. And then what happens? What is the question asked? Saha ragaha. So ragaha varjam. Rasa varjam is raga for those vishayas. Tad vishayaha ragaha. Tad vishayaha ragaha sa katham. Natu tad vishayaha ragaha. Sa katham samuriyate. Uh, means how will that go away? Nivartate, vinivartate, iti uchyate, and that is said in the next sentence here, which is saha rasaha rasapi rasapi asya 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 kasya asya dehi naha asya dehi naha param drishtva nivartate nivartate or Vinivartate, same meaning here, uh, we have to understand as Vinivartate only. So that will go away. How? After having Paramatma Darshana and there Param Drutta means what? Aham Asmi Iti. I am this Paramatma. Samyak Darshana Lakshana Prajnas Thairyam Chikir Shata Adav Indriyani Sovashe Sthapai Tavyani Yasmat Tadano Sthapare Dosham Aha. Why should you do that now? He says what is the end result of this analysis? Or with this explanation, who is Sita Prajna and Sita Prajna se ka bhasha ityadi. Samyak darshana lakshana prajna sthairam chikir shata. Chikir shata is uh, by a chikir shan, by a person who is a chikir shan, means one who, uh, by a person who is desirous of getting. Uh, so, crew will be doing, but then doing here, bringing, we can say bringing. Bringing what? Sthairam or getting, getting sthairam. So one, by a person who is desirous of 
getting sthairyam. Why sthairyam? Because sthita prajna. Sthita. Sthita is the meaning indicated here by sthairyam. Sthairyam of what? In what? Obviously in prajna. Because sthita prajna is, prajna is sthita. So sthairyam in what? Sthairyam of what? Sthairyam of prajna alone. Therefore prajna sthairyam. Prajna yaha sthairyam prajna sthairyam. Shashti tat purushaha. Shashti tat purushaha. And prajna sthairyam chikirshata. By one who is desirous of prajna sthairyam. स्थैर्यम एंड प्रज्ञा स्थैर्यम विच इज ऑफ व्हाट टाइप लक्षण कैरेक्टराइज बाय व्हाट दर्शन व्हाट कैंड ऑफ दर्शन सम्यक दर्शन सम्यक दर्शन इज कर्मधारया सम्यक सम्यक चौ दर्शन च सम्यक दर्शन सम्यक दर्शन लक्षण सम्यक दर्शन सम्यक दर्शन लक्षण यहा प्रज्ञा स्त्रीलिंग प्रज्ञा स्थैर्य स्त्रीलिंग देर फोर सम्यक दर्शनम लक्षणम यस्याह प्रज्ञायाह सा प्रज्ञा सम्यक लक्षणा प्रज्ञा एंड सम्यक दर्शन लक्षणा लक्षण प्रज्ञा याह स्तेरियम सुस्तेरियम ऑफ प्रज्ञा व्हाट कैन ऑफ प्रज्ञा दैट प्रज्ञा विच इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय द राइट विजन राइट विजन इज दिस परम दर्शन परम दृष्टवा दैट परम दृष्ट मीनिंग अद्वैत सो दैट विजन राइट विजन of Vedanta, that kind of prajna, which is characterized by the right vision, in that a person has to have sthairya. That is the sthita prajna, where a person has nishtha. So this is bahurihi. Instead of karma dharaya, you can take it to directly, since it is bahurihi, you can say samyak darshanam lakshanam yasyaha prajna ha sa prajna samyak lakshanam सम्यक दर्शन लक्षण प्रज्ञा एंड षष्टि तस्या स्थैर्य चिकीर्षता फॉर अ पर्सन हू हू वॉन्ट्स स्थैर्य इन चिकीर्षता इच्छा अर्थ है देर इच्छा अर्थ है सन आदो इंद्रिया सोयशे स्थापितव्या बाय हिम व्हाट हैज टू बी डन बाय हिम स्थापितव्या इंद्रिया स्थापित इंद्रिया इंद्रिया शुड बी Uh, kept should be placed placed under what stapitavya ni should be placed indriya should be placed swavashe in one's own control when adho in the beginning itself he should be learn how to control the indriya so shamadama are needed yasma since that is so yad anavasthapane doshamah tad tad anavasthapane that means this indriya indriya anavasthapane if they are swavashe anavasthapane is not done if they are not placed under one's control what is the what is the issue dosham what is the issue that issue he is mentioning in the next shloka yato tohyapi kaunteya purushasya vipaschitah indriyani pramathini haranti prasabham manah so yatato yatato yatatah shashti eko chana of what yatat yatan yatat or yatan person who is taking yatna one who is uh, one who is taking effort yatatah shatranta uh, pada yatatah he he is yasmat yasmat karanat since yatatah api kaunteya he kaunteya since yasmat yatatah he kaunteya kaunteya yatatah he अपी यततः पुरुषस्य सो हे कौंते यततः ही अपी पुरुषस्य पुरुषस्य अ पर्सन हु इज टेकिंग एफर्ट विपश्चितः एंड वन हु इज अ पंडित आल्सो वन हु नोस हैज ज्ञान हैज विवेक ज्ञान सो विपश्चितः विपश्चितः पुरुषस्य यततो अपि विपश्चितः पुरुषस्य व्हाट हैपेंस मनः इंद्रियाणि 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 इज कर्ता ऑफ द सेंटेंस इंद्रियाणि हरन्ति यू कैन सी इन प्लूरल हरन्ति मनः इज इन सिंगुलर देयरफॉर इट इज कर्म हरन्ति कर्तरी प्रयोग इंद्रियाणि हरन्ति इंद्रियास टेक अवे कैरी अवे व्हाट डू दे कैरी अवे 
इंद्रिया मन हरती सो मन हेज टू बी कर्म हरती इंद्रिया मन हरती दैट इज द बेसिक सेंटेन्स इफ यू लुक एट द एंटायर सेंटेन्स यू स्टार्ट विथ हरती हरती प्लूरल देर फोर इंद्रिया हरती वॉट कैंड ऑफ इंद्रिया प्रमाथीन इट इज क्वालिफाइंग प्रमाथीनी प्रमाथीन इंद्रिया प्रमाथीन मीन्स वॉट मथ 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 इज दि धातु प्रकर्षेण माथानी सो प्रमर्था मथ धातु इज मथ विलोड़ने धातु इज मथ विलोड़ने मथ से समुद्र मंथन यू नो मथ विलोड़ने 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 सो मथ विलोड़ मथ मीन्स स्टरिंग टू स्टर सो यू सी समुद्र मंथन देर मथन इज वॉट मंथन और मथन इज दिस दिसरिंग द इंद्रिया स्टर द माइंड द इंद्रिया स्टर द माइंड सो प्रमाथी नी इंद्रिया दीज इंद्रिया विच आर स्टरिंग द माइंड वॉट विल दे फाइनली डू द माइंड विल वे यू से नो यू वेन यू आर यू से दैट यू आर यू कैनॉट फोकस what happens when your mind is stirred it cannot focus the buddhi cannot act so indriyani pramathini indriyani manah haranti and thereby they will take away the mind they will take the mind for a ride manah haranti and how prasabham prasabham is what prasabham is adverbial to haranti prasabham is what uh, prasabham uh, prakarsh so it's adverbial prasab is forcibly adverbial to uh, haranti so the, the the meaning is forcibly uh, so the uh, a sanskrit meaning for this is uh, balatkarena uh, although in uh, this uh, the vernaculars it has a different meaning but it means by force even if a, why why force because this person is a pandita vipaschita api tasya vipaschita api purushasya प्रमाथीनी इंद्रिया मन हरती हाउ प्रसव हरती दे दे टेक अवे दिस पर्सन सी आई गिव अ जस्ट एक्सप्लेन वेरी डिफरेंटली सो विपश्चित द पंडित ही वॉन्ट्स टू बी इन द सभा आई एम जस्ट गिविंग दिस एज एज ए नसाइड इट इज नॉट रियली अ सभा हियर बट दैट द मीनिंग हियर प्रसभम इफ यू लुक एट द मीनिंग I'll just tell you what the uh, dictionary says. Very interesting uh, meaning. Pragata pragata sabha pragha pragata sabha. Yes, ma. It's a it's a pradi bahuri pradi bahuri pradi bahuri. You see, pra pra has a meaning which does not have uh, it does not have uh, connection with sabha. This word sabha sabha is three linga. So pradhi bahuri to mean what? It is pragata pragata sabha yasmat. And what is sabha yasmat means? From this is pandit. The sabha has gone away from him. Sabha is in this panditiam which is there. Actually, sabha is this pandita sabha that has gone away from him. Meaning what? The buddhi has gone away. Here this vipaschit is no longer a vipaschit. at that point of time when these they are forcibly taking away the mind is being stirred so where is the buddhi there buddhi does not have bandwidth to uh, act upon the mind therefore indriyani mana prasabham haranti pragata sabha yasmat and the uh, dictionary gives the meaning of this pragata sabha yasmat means what sabha adhikarah very nice meaning i saw this uh, i don't like the the word uh, Uh, balatkara has been uh, used in a very different way so i don't want to use that word but i like this uh, meaning especially with this vipaschit for a pandita it is very uh, very fitting in this shloka pragata sabha is equal to pragata sabha adhikarah yasmat sabha has gone away means what sabha adhikara this person does not have an adhikara to be in the sabha when his mind is being stirred because pandita's mind means his mind should Uh, antakarana should act like buddhi but it is stirred and it cannot act like buddhi therefore purushasya vipaschita vipaschita purushasya yatatha he is taking a lot of effort to control his mind 
but then buddhi does not come into play because it is prasabham now prasabham uh, harati haranti uh, indriyani pramathini these which are stirring the mind they take away they don't let this antakarana become the uh, become buddhi they let it remain as samshayatmakah manah samshayatmakam manah and thereby manah haranti prasabham forcibly they take away very nice uh, meaning that we prasabham okay so that is the next shloka further yatha tasmat yatha yatha is what yasmat pancham yarthit asil yat yasmat ittham because it is so because panditasya api purushasya pramathini indriyani manah prasabham haranti tasmat therefore what should be done tani sarvani sanyamya yukta aasit matparah vashe hi yasendriyani tasya prajna pratishthita this pandita has no scope unfortunately when his mind is being stirred by the indriyas therefore tani sarvani indriyani these tani sarvani tani what indriyani tani indriyani sanyamya samyak yamya yam yam is to bring under control that is the uh, yama niyama of yoga and yoga today is what this uh, you know exercises our uh, uh, swami ji who taught us uh, patanjali yoga sutras this was way back in uh, 2006 in uh, rishikesh very nicely he said uh, because we had a uh, we had a karma yoga class day, uh, not only karma yoga we had uh, uh, class for uh, asana asana class also every day and he used to teach patanjali yoga sutras theory and yoga is a practical grantha so practice for yoga was what limited to our, uh, it was uh, of course uh, after the uh, asanas it went to dhyana also uh, but asana was at ev- was an everyday class and asana is not restricted to one asana yoga the 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 goal of yoga is samadhi yoga chitta vritti nirodha the vritti nirodha chitta vritti nirodha is samadhi and that is the goal of yoga shastra so patanjali yoga sutra should teaching should culminate in samadhi but what do people do they do yoga as in yoga asana at the most they do pranayama the first two limbs are forgotten which are yama yama niyama so sanyamya through yama niyama controlling these through shamadama and that swami ji used to say so i took a detour to say what swami ji used to say what asanas do you actually in patanjali yoga sutra there is only one sutra for asana one sutra for asana which is uh, uh, sukham sukasthiram asanam so sukasthiram asanam this that asana which is sukha and sthira sukha means what which does not bring which is effortless sukha is sukhena that asana which is without any which is effortless which does not uh, you know we can't do dhyana in sirsasana or in uh, any other asanas which are you know you see the way the uh, so called yogi's mind bends these modern day yogis uh, the the body bends oh amazing you can do all sorts of asanas halasana ityadi but you cannot do dhyana in that all those are for what to train the person to become sukha in one asana in which he can do dhyana he or she can do dhyana that is the goal of yoga shastra therefore only one sutra every the, all the hatha yoga pratipika is targeted towards that sukha asana which is sthira so sukha sthiram asanam but entire effort remains at yo, uh, of yoga modern day yoga is only that it is yoga asana not yoga but why is it so because yama niyama the pancha yamas and pancha niyamas are given up they not even they don't even know many of them don't even know that there are yama niyamas there are rules to follow uh, vidhis to follow and nishedhas to follow that is yama niyama that's why vedanta also starts with that there is an overlap between yoga shastra and vedanta in the initial stages where chitta shuddhi the sadhana chatushtaya or the shat uh, sampatti if you look at them there is there is an overlap uh, with yoga shastra yama niyama tani sarvani indriyani sanyamya having controlled them through shamadama yuktah asita matparah yuktah asit one should remain what yuktah 
that kind of a yuktaha. So yuktaha, we look up the meaning which is the uh, uh, Bhashyakara gives. We can bring better meaning there. Sanyamya yuktaha. So yuktaha is what? Samahitaha san. So yuktaha means what? See, yukta by itself will not give a good meaning. Vashi karanam krutva. Sanyamanam. Sanyamya means what? Sanyamanam krutva. Sanyamanam is equal to Vashi karanam. Vashi karanam is controlling. Con having control. Krutva. Having control these, what happens? One remains yukta. Yukta san. Yukta san means what? Samahitaha san. One who becomes composed, becoming composed. So composed is a good meaning for this yuktaha san. So we will just uh, translate this composed. Yuktaha asit. One remains asita. Yuktaha asita. One should remain. So asita, yuktaha, yuktaha here is composed. One who remains composed. Yuktaha and kartarita here. Yuktaha tani. Uh, san tani. Thereby these become second case. Tani sarvani sanyamya lyabanta. Twa is replaced by lyap when some comes in as a as an upasarga. What happened? Okay, my browser is stuck. Can you still see the screen? Okay, my browser is stuck for some reason. Okay, now it is moving. Okay, yeah. I don't know what happened. So, Jaya to, okay, this, we were here. Tani Sarvani Sanyamya Yuktaha San Asita One should remain. How? Matparaha Asita. Matparaha Asita. So, Matpara is what? Bahuri again. Aham. Paraha, aham pa, Krishna is saying, aham paraha yasya saha, that person is matparaha. So matparaha asita, vashehi yasya indriyani, in control, he, indriyani, why yasmat, he can be taken as yes, yasmat or indeed yasya, tasya pradnya pratishtata means saha, Yasya Indriyani Vashe Bhavati Tasya Prajna Pratishtita Bhavati means he becomes Sita Prajna Tani Sarvani Indriyani And this is not this Indriyani, this Indriyani is Prathama because Indriyani Yasya Vashe So Indriyani here is this is the meaning. I am just giving the meaning in brackets or you can say uh, by Vivakti Parinama you can bring in from the same sentence you can reuse. Tani Sarvani Indriyani Sanyamya Sanyamya Yuktaha San Yuktaha San Matparaha Matparaha Yuktaha Matparaha San Asita Matparaha and Matpara, you see what he says, uh, Bhashyakara says, Aham Vasudevaha Sarva Pratyagatma. So Vasudevaha, Krishna is Vasudevaha. And Vasudeva meaning is what? The meaning is uh, one who is Vasudevasya uh, Apatyam Puman. But that is not the Vasudeva that Krishna is. Because he says Matpara San, there you can become a Bhakta. But what kind of a Vasudeva that Vasudeva is this who is Sarva Vyapi, Sarva Vyapi and uh, who is in the form of everyone, that Ishwara who is Anena Jivena Atmana Anupravishya, one who has entered as Jiva in each and every being, that is Vasudevaha. So therefore he says Sarva Pratyagatma, one who is Pratyagatma for everyone, one who is seen, experienced as I, 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 Aham, 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 there is a Spurana as Aham. That is Vasudevaha. So Matparaha Asit. Meaning what? Being Vasudevaha is the highest. Meaning one has Nishta in Paramatma, Atma. Na Anyaha Aham Astasma. So what is that Matparaha? Na Anyaha Aham 
tasmat i am not different from that parmeshwara iti asite ityarthah and then that is the meaning of matparah asita may one remain so and asita one who remains so what happens asita and matpara asita yasya indriyani tani sarvani sanyukta uh, yasya yasya indriyani indriyani yasya indriyani vashe वशे भवंती तो आर इन कंट्रोल यस्य वशे भवंती सो इंद्रियाणि यस्य इंद्रियाणि यस्य वशे भवंती तस्य प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता भवती मीनिंग ही इज अ शी इज अ स्थित प्रज्ञा So we'll stop here. We'll continue in the next part. Ha. Om Tasvir Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Any questions? No questions. Okay. So I'll see you in the next part. Ha. Huh?